This lesson will show how to graph y equals secant x over the closed interval from negative two pi to positive two pi. To better understand the graph of the secant function, secant x is equal to the reciprocal of the cosine function, or one divided by cosine x, which means where the cosine function is equal to zero, the secant function is undefined, and therefore the secant function will have vertical asymptotes where the cosine function is equal to zero. Also, where the cosine function is equal to one, the secant function is also equal to one because the reciprocal of one is one, and also where the cosine function is equal to negative one, the secant function will also be equal to negative one because negative one is a reciprocal of negative one. Let's take a look at the graph using desmos.com. Actually, before we graph the function, let's click on the wrench in the upper right hand corner. Notice how the calculator is in radian mode. I've set up the x-axis to go from negative seven to positive seven with a step of pi over four, and I left the y-axis on the default settings. And now as I increase a from negative two pi to positive two pi, we will see the graph of the secant function over the closed interval from negative two pi to positive two pi. A couple things to notice about the graph. Notice how the period is two pi radians, and also there is no amplitude because the graph goes up forever as well as down forever. Now let's go ahead and clear this graph and make the connection between the graph of the cosine function and the graph of the secant function. So let's first graph y equals cosine x, which I've graphed here dashed in orange. And again, because the secant function is equal to the reciprocal of the cosine function, wherever the cosine function is equal to zero, the secant function is undefined and will have a vertical asymptote, which means that x equals negative three pi over two, x equals negative pi over two, x equals pi over two, and x equals three pi over two, the secant function will have vertical asymptotes. So let's go ahead and graph the vertical asymptotes. And then again, where the cosine function is equal to one, the secant function will also be equal to one because the reciprocal of one is one, and also where the cosine function is equal to negative one, the secant function is also equal to negative one because the reciprocal of negative one is negative one, which means this point, this point, this point, this point, and this point will be points on the graph of the secant function. Knowing this information is enough information to make a nice graph of the secant function because now we know the graph of the secant function will pass through these points and approach the vertical asymptotes. So let's go ahead and graph the secant function again so we can see that connection. Again, notice how each piece of the graph passes through the high points and low points of the graph of the cosine function and then approaches the vertical asymptote. We may also recognize that where the cosine function is concave up, the secant function is concave down and where the cosine function is concave down, the secant function is concave up. If we did want to find some additional points on the graph of the secant function, again, we can make the connection between the fact that the secant function values and the cosine function values are reciprocals of one another. So to show this, looking at this table, at pi over three, the cosine function is equal to one half, which means at pi over three, the cosine function is equal to one half, which means that pi over three, the secant function is equal to positive two, which is the reciprocal of one half, which would be this point on the cosine function and this point on the secant function. Similarly, at x equals negative pi over three, the cosine function value is positive one half, which would be this point here, and therefore the secant function value is positive two, which is this point here on the graph. So once again, we can use the fact that we know that the secant function values and cosine function values are reciprocals to find additional points on the graph of the secant function if we wanted to. I hope you found this helpful.